Oh, good. So let's move sitting on the bolster, everyone. Um, so choose the position that feels best for you, uh, but just have that ease of having the uh, pelvis propped up so that your knees are lower. And then you just uh, find yourself supported sitting here. And let's interlace the fingers, place your hands on top of your head. Rest your hands down as you press your head up to elevate your spine and just feel that just a little subtle movement, but very helpful in keeping the spine elevated, but relaxed. And if you like, you can close your eyes or roll your gaze down to the floor. And start noticing your breath, just the way it is, without changing anything. And for tonight's class, I want to offer this quote. And the moon said to me, my darling, you don't have to be whole in order to shine. It's the crescent moon speaking to us. Hmm. So even if you feel the Rice Krispies or some soreness or some discomfort, remember that you can still shine, you can still enjoy your activities, your day and your plans and anything that is there for you. So let's start taking a long inhale through the nose. Expanding your whole abdomen and then exhale slowly, open your mouth, relax your jaw. Long inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, make a sound through your voice. <sighs> Silent. And then again, long inhale through the nose. And exhale slowly, slowly through the mouth. And then again, notice as your breath return to its natural pace. And then when you are ready, open your eyes. And remember just to move the way your body wants you to move and uh, feel free to make any adjustment or modification that works best for you. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the shoulders. Inhale, elbows together. Wrist together behind your head. Exhale down. Inhale, elbows together. Wrist together. Exhale down. Inhale, elbows together. Wrist together. And exhale down. Just move one shoulder at a time in every direction that feels good. Side to side. Good. Hmm. 
Now inhale, look up to the sky. Notice if your neck feels a little stiff. It's okay, no judgment. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, head to center. Exhale, turn your head to the right. Continue breathing at your own pace as you tilt your head to look up to the sky. Release in the center. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to the left. And then again, tilt your head up to look up to the sky as you breathe at your own pace. And release in the center. Inhale. Exhale. Tilt your head to the right. Extend your right arm. Place your right hand by your left ear. And just give it a little pressure. Just a little pressure. Work your edge and release. Inhale, exhale, tilt your head to the left. Extend your left arm out, place your left hand by your right ear. And again, give it a little pressure, just enough to feel a nice stretch for your neck. and release. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release them down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release down. Interlace your fingers, place your hands at the base of your head. Inhale, press your head against your hands, tuck your chin in. Exhale, release. Inhale, press your head against your hands, tuck your chin in. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, press your head against your hands, tuck your chin in. Exhale, release. And release your arms. Nice. Wiggle, wiggle. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades as you release your shoulders. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release and squeeze. Again, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice. Hmm. Wiggle, wiggle. Inhale, arms up, exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, arms up, exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, arms up, exhale, shoulders down. Interlace your fingers, palms facing up. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back as you press your arms forward. Inhale, arch your back, look up, arms up, palms up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arms up, exhale, release down. Now let's make circles with the torso. You can place your hands on your legs or on the floor, whatever works for you. And let's start to the side. Make some wide circles forward and round in the center. 
Again, circling in the same direction. One more time. Come back to the center, change direction. Two circles. And come back to the center. And now let's make the same circles, but arching around in the back. So inhale, arch your back as you lean towards the side, forward. And as you start coming back, round your back, exhale. Inhale, arch your back. Just press your tail towards the sky. And round your back, coming back to center. And then let's switch direction. Inhale, arch your back. Circle forward, round your back as you exhale. Inhale, arch forward. Exhale, round your back. Ah, nice. <clears throat> inhale left arm reaches up exhale side stretch press the floor away from you breathe into the left side rib cage hip switch side inhale right arm reaches up exhale side stretch press the floor away from you and breathe into the right side Switch again, inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, side stretch. Switch, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, left arm reaches up, exhale, side stretch. And last, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, arms up, exhale, arms to cactus. We'll do the spinal flossing. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale in the center, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale in the center, exhale, twist the right. Inhale, arms up, look up, exhale, lower your arms, twist to the right, say yes with your head. And say no. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, follow your arms to the back. And if you like, again, twist your neck just gently to look up to the sky. And breathe. Release, come back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms to cactus. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale in the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale in the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, lower your arms, twist to the left. And say yes with your head. And say no. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, follow your eyes. Complete the twist to the left. And again, if you like. Just turn your neck gently, look up to the sky. No leverage with the hand. 
and release. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, release them down. So we'll come down from the bolster. It's good to change position. Shake your legs, bring some blood flow, some circulation and the energy from through the legs. Pat, 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 pat. So move the flesh of your seat bones. And if your hamstrings are tight, if they're speaking to you, then use a maybe a folded towel or a blanket uh, to just give it a little ease, right? And flat back, make sure you don't round the back. Fold forward, easy. And then massage the legs upward, lymphatic self-massage. On all sides. Bend your knees, underside. And then a gentle nudge at the lymph nodes at the groins. Just a gentle massage here. Nice. Good. Let's move to tabletop. And once you um, find your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips, let's make some gentle wide circles with the pelvis. In both directions. Tuck your, um, your toes under and gently sit on your heels and wiggle your, um, your pelvis side to side to do a little bit of fascia release. And of course, you'll, you'll know how much pressure, how much weight to put on your heels. Little side to side. Good. Come back to tabletop. Flat toes on your mat. And rotate your elbows to the outside to protect the shoulders. Very important, especially if you if you do like downward dog or any other more challenging poses um, where you press on your on your hands and you want to protect the shoulders. Inhale, lift your head, arch your back, point your tailbone towards the sky. Exhale, round your back, relax your head and neck. Inhale, arch your back, point your tailbone towards the sky. Drop your belly. Exhale, round your back. Press the floor away from you. And then inhale, arch your back, point your tailbone towards the sky, lift your head. And exhale, round your back as you start moving your pelvis towards your heels, bend your elbows. Inhale, arch your back, press your hands into the floor, extend your arms, come back to tabletop. And now let's make the pelvic circles arching and rounding the back. Changing direction. Come back to tabletop. Nice. 
Extend your right leg back, point and flex your toes into the floor. And then stretch through the heel. Find your focal point on the mat for balance. Lift the leg just a couple of inches from the floor. And if it's available to you, extend your opposite arm straight in front of you, thumb up. And on the inhale, elongate from the fingertips all the way to the heel. Exhale, crunch or place the hand down. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, leg straight back, hand down on the floor. And on the exhale, bring the leg all the way across to the left side. Look over your shoulder towards your toes. And breathe into the right side of your body. Open the torso, the hip. And just notice is one side will need an extra breath. And then bring the leg back, bend your knee, open to the side and close, open and close. And then make circles with the same hip. Maybe three circles in each direction. And come back to tabletop. Extend the left leg back, point and flex your toes into the floor. Stretch through the heel. Find your focal point on the mat for balance. Lift the leg just a couple of inches from the floor. And if it's available to you, extend the opposite arm straight in front of you, thumb up. And on the inhale, elongate from the fingertips all the way to the heel. And on the exhale, crunch or place the hand down. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, le leg straight back, hand on the floor. And on the exhale, bring the leg all the way across to the right side. Look over your shoulder towards your toes. And breathe in the, along the left side of your body. Check again your elbows. Make sure they are rotate it to the outside and now let's bring the leg back bend your knee <clears throat> and open to the side and close open and close And then make circles with the same hip. And back to tabletop. Extend your hands to the outside edges of the mat and lean back in puppy dog. Engage your shoulders. Feel a nice opening for the shoulders and the muscles along the back. And 
release. Come back to neutral. And let's find our child pose. Toes together in the back. Widen your knees as wide as the mat. And extend your arms forward. And to strengthen the muscles along the spine, you might want to press your fingertips into the mat and walk those fingertips forward and feel the engagement of your muscles along the back. Keep your neck long, your head in between your arms. And then release, release into the floor to enjoy your child pose. And visualize your breath elongating your spine, nurturing the discs. And then before we release the pose, we'll just walk our hands to the, maybe to the left to start with. Extend your arms to the left and enjoy a mild stretch here in your child pose. Feel your right side maybe. If if you want to direct your breath to the right side, your hips, your rib cage, and then walk your arms, your hands all the way to the right side. And again, enjoy your right side child pose here. Use the breath to ease the stretch on the left side. And then start walking your hands back to center and towards your pelvis so that you can come back to seated. Nice. Let's bring the bolster back, place it on the side, drop your knees in the front with your deer legs, and remember no gap in between the bolster and your hip. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up, and exhale, turn towards the bolster and let it support your uh, twist and breathe in the low back, maybe the hip. And then slide your hands under the shoulders, press into the floor, come up to seated and let's switch side. Switch side for your legs as well. Make sure there is no gap with the bolster. Inhale, arms up. And exhale again, let the bolster support your twist and breathe into the low back.
slide your hands under the shoulders, press into the floor, come up to seated. And if your uh, back needs uh, a little ease in the um, supported uh, back extension, you can use your uh, blocks and the bolster on top. Or you can place the bolster down on the floor if that feels, um, if your low back feels good to do that. And recline, let the bolster support you. Open your arms to the outside, squeeze your shoulder blades. And now here you can keep your knees bent or you can walk your feet to the outside edges of the mat, drop the knees in the center. That's restorative for the hips. Or if you like to have a hip opener, then find your butterfly legs, feet together, open the knees to the outside, drop the knees to the outside. You can always support with the blocks or cushions or blankets. And take three long breaths here. And then slowly bring your knees up or just have your legs in neutral position and then turn, press your hands into the floor, come up to seated and let's move the bolster to the side. And we want to have the blocks ready for our low lunge. Mm -hmm. Right foot in between the blocks, slide your right knee back and wiggle your tail, find your sweet spot and start breathing to release the hip flexors on the right side and maybe keep moving your head in every way that feels good. Keep exploring your range of motion. Release. As you bring the blocks with you, extend your left leg. And here is the, uh, the way we engage the hamstrings. Lean forward. And if your hamstrings are not happy, point and flex your toes. Ease that stretch. Turn your foot to the outside, IT bend stretch, open the back of the hip on the left side. <clears throat> and release, easy low lunge here, left hand on your left thigh, right arm out. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, crescent. Keep breathing into your right hip. And release. Inhale, exhale. Switch leg. Right foot forward in between the blocks. Slide your left knee back. 
and wiggle your tail, find your sweet spot. <clears throat> Remember, no discomfort, no pain. Find what works best for you. And again, explore the range of motion with your moving your head and giving those rice crispies a, a wake up call. Also remember that drinking lots of water helps uh, the uh, moving those uh, the brains out through and out. Hmm. Nice release as you extend your right leg. Bring the blocks with you. Flat back. Lean forward. Engage the hamstrings. And again, point and flex your toes. Might be a little easier. And turn your foot to the outside, I to bend, stretch. And relieve compression from the back of the right hip. And release. Make your easy low lunge. Right hand on your right thigh. Left arm out. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, crescent. And release. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hands on your blocks. And let's use the low lunge to come to standing. Point your toes in the back of your knee. And walk back and forth. And together find your rag doll. Engage your abs, but everything else is relaxed. And maybe reach for your elbows and swing side to side. Maybe use gravity here to give a gentle shape to your head, just to uh, feel a little more uh, limber neck and a little freer. Come back to center. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Draw the shoulder blades towards your tailbone. Keep your knees soft. Exhale, release all the way down and then press your feet into the floor, bend your knees, inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. Shake, 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 shake. Nice. <clears throat> Let's find our mountain pose. Feet hip distance apart. Your knees are slightly bent. Draw the belly button in, release your tailbone. Roll your shoulders back, palms facing forward. Close your eyes or find a focal point in front of you. And if you like, you can visualize the energy of the earth coming through your feet, your legs, your pelvis, your torso, your arms, your shoulders, your head, and flowing out 
through your head back into the universe. And then release, just wiggle your fingers and shake it, release your mountain. Good. Nice. Now let's bring the block towards the wall. Couple of places from the wall and or a chair or a countertop. Step on the block with your outside leg and the inside leg is free to swing back and forth, release the hip. And then give it a good shake, same leg, shake, 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 shake. Step down, turn around, switch south. And then give it a good shake. Shake, 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 the same leg. And step down. Let's move the block. And let's find our warrior two. Make sure the front leg is bent, but the knee doesn't pass your toes. Micro bend into the back leg. Hands on your hips. Inhale, arms parallel to the floor. And continue breathing at your own pace and shoulders up and down as you turn your palms up and down. So exaggerate the movement to just move the shoulders. Palms up and revolve into your extended side angle. And you can extend the knee in the back. Now it's safe. And strong arm pulls you up. Now let's find our triangle. Arms parallel to the floor. Your legs are straight, but micro bend, always good. Your stand is a little shorter than the uh, warrior two. Now slide your hip back, reach with your arms forward and tick tock like a clock, revolve into your triangle. Make sure your torso is parallel to the wall behind you. You're not rounding your torso to go down further. You can even be here. And strong arm pulls you up. And now we keep our a half split. And if you, um, if you like to be safe and you want a chair, to support you or to catch you just in case. So your feet are both pointing forward. It's just a split uh, stand and we'll do a pyramid. So now roll your shoulders back, palms facing forward. And of course you're gonna have the chair to lean on if you need it. Keep your flat back, no rounding of the back. Uh, bend at the hip crease. 
and you just lean forward just enough to have your back flat 90 degrees. If you need to, of course, you can use the chair or you can wrap your arms behind your back. And feel the hamstrings on the front forward leg. And release. So you can keep the chair there for you. <clears throat> Turn around and we'll find our warrior two. Micro bend into the back leg, hands on your hips. Arms parallel to the floor, continue breathing at your own pace and up and down, shoulders and palms. Palms up and revolve into your extended side angle. So you can extend your back leg now. And breathe. Strong arm pulls you up during your uh, stand. Your legs are extended. Arms parallel to the floor. Now slide your hip back. Reach with your arm forward and revolve into your triangle. Keeping your torso parallel to the wall behind you. And breathe. And strong arm pulls you up. And now again, we'll do our um, Pyramid, switch side, of course. So if your chair is there, you can obviously stay on the same side. And just have your opposite leg forward, straight leg. Roll your shoulders back, palms facing forward, flat back, hinge at the hip, and Hold forward, keeping your flat back. You can even tilt your pelvis to point the tailbone towards the sky to make sure that you keep your back flat. You can wrap your arm behind your back if you like. And feel the hamstring stretch. And release. Shake, 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 shake. Now we, we're going to make our way back down to the floor. You can use your low lunge or you can use a block and try Malasana. Wide stand, toes pointing to the outside, hands to the heart. Bend your knees and slowly come down. A way to stretch the back and maybe press your elbows on the inside of your knees. Mm, nice stretch for your uh, inside muscles. And we'll sit towards the top of the mat. Engage your abs as you slowly Release your whole body down to the mat. And when you come down, give yourself a hug, hug your knees, rock side to side.
and release your feet on the mat. And we'll take a couple of breaths here in the constructive resting pose. Make sure you wiggle your back so that your shoulder blades are flat, palms up. Take a couple of breaths here. Now place each hand on each knee and make circles so that in opposite directions so that you massage the hip sockets and then opposite direction again. Coming back to center, then make circles in the same direction, knees together, engaging your abs to protect your low back. And then switch direction. Hmm, nice. Now let's reach for the strap. We talked about hamstrings. So uh, both legs can be uh, along the mat. Bend your right knee, slide your strap under your right foot. <clears throat> Bend your knee and extend your leg. Bend your knee, extend your leg. Let's do it three times. Nice. Now, <clears throat> with your knee extended, hold on to the strap. You can bend the other leg if that's better for you. So you decide and just Hold that tension, comfortable, but find your edge. No pain, of course. And then release, bend your knee, and just bring the leg closer. Just a little bit closer. Yeah. And then with the other hand, you can release your right arm out, palm up and bring the leg across your body and just feel if there is any tension on your leg and hip especially release and now very slowly being very careful you open your leg to the outside and place your left hand on your left hip so that your left hip doesn't come up. Your pelvis stays on the floor. And then release, bend your knee, extend your leg, and with your leg extended in the center, Let's try again to bring it closer. Maybe just a little bit closer and release. Switch leg, place your strap under, under your left foot. Bend your knee, bring it closer, extend and bend, extend just to warm up the muscles. Good. And then extend. Extend your leg and just bring the leg closer. 
And you might notice a little difference between right and left. It's normal. And just bring it closer, extend, and release. Just a micro bend into the knee will help. You can bring the leg a little closer. And then release it out. Release your left arm out, palm up and bring the left leg across your body to the right. And just feel the stretch there. Use your breath. And bring it back to center. Switch arm and open to the outside. Gently, slowly, and place your right hand on top of your right hip so that it doesn't lift your pelvis. Make sure you control the movement, no strain, and you release it. And then you bring it gently back, bending your knee, come up to center. And again, extend your leg and maybe bring it closer. And release. Just a little movement. And release the strap. Ah, bend your knees, butterfly legs, feet together, just a few breaths here, just to um, balance with the previous movements. and bring slowly the knees together. Right leg up, place your right foot on your left thigh, flex your foot to protect the knee, reach behind your left leg, interlace your fingers, inhale, exhale, bring your legs closer, inhale, release, Exhale, bring your legs closer. Maybe press your right elbow into your right leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring your legs closer. Press in maybe your right elbow into your right leg. Inhale, release both legs forward. And let's do the other side. Left leg up, place your foot on your right thigh, flex your toes, interlace your fingers, support your right leg with your arms, inhale, exhale, bring your legs closer, inhale, release, Exhale, bring your legs closer, pressing your left elbow into your left leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring your legs closer, pressing your left elbow into your left leg, if that's available to you. Inhale, release, release both feet onto the mat. And again, take a breath here. Maybe bring your knees to the chest, give yourself a hug, rock side to side. And find your happy baby, rocking yourself playfully side to side with all curiosity and wonder. 
and gratitude for all that your body can do. And release to find your most comfortable position for Shavasana. Maybe support your legs with your bolster. And just gently move your body to find the most comfortable position. And gently roll your head from side to side and allow it to rest in the center. Find your breath. A slow, long inhale through the nose. Exhale, open your mouth, relax your jaw. And find your breath once again. Start gently moving your body, like wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. And bring your knees to the chest and roll all the way to one side. And enjoy a couple of breaths there with your eyes closed. And now when you're ready, start pressing your hands into the floor to come up to seated. Bring your hands to the heart.
and keep shining. Namaste.